Sa amigos, it is your favorite illustrator slash wannabe ornithologist, and recently, while I was perusing the shelves of my local antique store, I happened to find several fun little oddities, including this little guy. Now, I think he's supposed to be a robin, an American robin, unless I'm mistaken, but design-wise, his colors are a teensy bit drab, and he doesn't even have a leg to stand on. So, I thought out of the kindness of our hearts, today we would give our fine feathered friend a new set of trompers with which he can frolic in the fields, but we're not building him just any old boring bird legs, oh no. A friend of mine recently sent me this TikTok, which truly tickled my fancy. And I don't know if you can see where I'm going with this. My friends, we are making a cursed bird sculpture today. Now, it's actually been a solid while since I've used any sort of polymer clay. So, can I do this? I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Okay, I already like this guy's design, so I'm not gonna mess with it too, too much. That being said, he's missing a bit of detail around the head, and I do think we can amp up the color to make him just a bit more exciting. So I'm gonna add a couple of blue and purple washes over his wings to bring out the dark shades and go in with some warmer colors on his chest. The way that I do this is I mix acrylics with matte medium, which basically waters them down to allow you to get a more transparent color. After getting my tiniest brush to give him his signature white eyeliner and cute little feathers, and then immediately messing up horribly multiple times, I am hitting him with a dry brush to bring out all those nice feather details on the ceramic. Now that he's painted, let's move on to the legs. The eagle-eyed among you will notice that he's got some little holes in his base, presumably for his former, less powerful legs. This is mighty convenient for me, since it means I can attach the wire armature directly to this little guy. That said, I really don't trust that he'll survive if I put him in the oven, so I'm just gonna mold the legs separately and attach them after baking. Now, because I don't want the legs to weigh a million pounds, I'm using aluminum to build up a vague leg-like shape first, and then I'll slap some polymer clay over it. The polymer clay took roughly a thousand years to condition because I literally haven't touched it since college. Oops, learn from my mistakes. Anyway, once I had gotten this clay to soften up a bit with a meticulous application of force and gentle words a la the classic enemies to lovers trope, we were in business and I could start slapping slabs on my metal construct in just a vague little leg shape. Don't forget to get reference images. If you want a realistic bird leg, you're gonna have to look at some bird legs. Or these legs. You'll note that I don't have any sculpting tools whatsoever, and I'm just winging it. You see, I couldn't sparrow any extra cost on this guy. I quail at the thought of Robin art stores, though, so I guess I'll just have to swallow my pride and live with my egrets. Also, uh, you know that bit in the Grim Cinderella where the stepsisters couldn't fit in the shoes? Um, a bit of that did happen because I spontaneously decided I was too lazy to sculpt high heels and wound up using some Barbie heels as a base for some cute little boots. Don't worry if the legs look weird and lumpy. I'm going to add a little surprise later to these legs and that should hopefully cover up my gaffes. Now let's blast them. Now that these legs have been toasted a lovely golden brown, yeah, nice legs, Robin. our boy is done. He still can't really stand, but I had an epiphany inspired by one of my favorite games and figured, why stand when you can skate? So I dug out a McDonald's Happy Meal Star Wars tech deck situation and glued the bird straight on. This worked great, but was also a horrible mistake because, well, you'll see you later. After touching up the edges, I'm gonna paint them, or not. I wound up just painting the boots. I figured the polymer clay color was fine on its own. My initial plan was to try mixing paint with glitter, but that looked about as beautiful as a plate of spaghetti on the cafeteria floor, so I abandoned that ship pretty quickly and instead just mixed a shiny blue-black shade, almost like some nice leather boots. Let's pretend it's like that. Now on to my little surprise. I was venturing into my fabric stash and happened to find this white tulle. I realized immediately that if I were to color this black, it would be the perfect two-scale fishnets for our little man. I attempted to dye it black with a mix of water and ink, and when that 
failed miserably, I went sicko mode and just massaged straight up black ink onto the fabric, which worked great and also made a huge mess because I remembered too late that this stuff dries basically instantly and does not wash off. Yikes. After letting my gothified fabric dry for a bit, we were ready to dress our beautiful model. I will be the first to admit I am not really a sewing professional, but super glue failed me and the skateboard was in the way. So I had to sew the fishnets straight onto the legs and try to pretend that the messy bit was because the fishnets were the old fashioned kind with the seam on the back and not because I'm bad. After that, I felt like I was done, but I kind of really didn't think through the legs and how they connect to the body. So there was a lot of like wire everywhere and I already felt quite a bit like Sid from Toy Story and I didn't want to make it worse. So I sewed a cute little jean skirt from some black denim in my fabric stash because I was way too lazy to make shorts. And I of course had to sew that skirt directly onto the legs because again, the skateboard was in the way. Then I added a little chain belt because he's a punk which I, of course, also had to sew directly onto the bird because you, you see the theme here? You see what I have done to myself? You see this problem that I created, this completely unnecessary issue? Anyway, I'd like you to meet my beloved ward, Skater Beard. Crying, crying for help, help, help me. 